Here's a Royal Enfield 500cc uh, unit engine, one of the new uh, Indian unit engines that I'm working on. I've already fitted a performance camshaft kit to it and um, I've also set the piston to the underside of the cylinder head squish clearance which I've done and checked and measured by using these strips of solder on top of the piston. Um, I shortened the cylinder barrel on this one, uh, it turns out by 0.8 of a millimetre to get the millimetre thick solder after going over top dead centre which indicates we've got a millimetre of squish clearance over the top of the piston at top dead centre so that's where we want it to be and um, next I've got to fit the competition or upgrade valve kit uh, to the cylinder head and apparently this engine's only done about 8,000 miles and um, an engine that I worked on like this before didn't really need the new valve guides which can be quite tricky and fiddly to fit in these but this one does need them and in fact if I get the old exhaust valve here and put it in you can see that wobbling around in the guide that play is uh, rather excessive and surprisingly large for 8,000 miles so I'm going to fit the new guides to this cylinder head the exhaust one at least because even with the new exhaust valve in that guide let me just get it in there let's see. Dark in there. There we go. Took a while, got it in. That's the new valve in that guide, which is still wobbling around far too much. So I'm going to change the guide, probably do both of them. And the other thing I've got to watch out for when I change the guides is unlike many other cylinder heads, the guides for these don't have a shoulder on them to bottom out on when they're driven in so you've got to make sure that you don't go too far so it's going to be interesting because uh, obviously you're going to have to have the cylinder head hot and be driving the new guides in and you want to be driving them in as quick as you can but you've got to pause with this one and measure and see how far the guide's gone in to know whether you need to go further and hopefully that you haven't gone too far and just for reference The overall height of the valve guide sticking out from that side of the cylinder head seems to be 15 millimeters so that's what I want to aim for when I drive the replacement in so the next job is to get the gas torch and start heating the cylinder head knock these old valve guides out and put the new ones in so that will be me occupied for a little while and hopefully we can get the job done, get the new valves in and we can put the cylinder head on and then this engine will be ready to go again.